Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a quick tip um, on how to create uh, automated sequence switches inside of Massive. All right, so by default, uh, when you're looking at the uh, stepper and the performer uh, modes of the LFOs, of which, by the way, all LFOs can run in LFO, performer, and stepper mode by just clicking on this little drop down menu over here. Uh, getting back to this, uh, performer and stepper, uh, you, you have up to 16 steps in a sequence, um, and then it, it loops and repeats. Now, you can extend that functionality. You can also uh, take it down. Um, if you want, you could make like a, a four-step loop. Uh, just click and drag down. Um, or you could turn a 16-step sequence into a 32-step sequence with just a little bit of trickery. And all you really need is an LFO to do it and a little bit of time. So let's walk through how this is set up. I'm just gonna set my oscillator one to be a square wave. I'm gonna turn my amp all the way down. Uh, now what I'm going to do is set, uh, let's just use this performer since it's already open. I'm gonna set this as a modulator for my amp knob of oscillator one. So now it sounds something like this. So what it's doing is it's following the pattern that we've drawn in here in our performer and it's automating the turning of this amplitude knob. But what we're interested in doing is actually creating some kind of sequence that switches to a secondary sequence um, after 16 steps. So let's go ahead and make that happen. First, I'm just going to set up something very, very simple. I'm gonna knock out every other note here. So what we're going to hear is um, our oscillator turn up for every other step in our sequence. I'm also going to speed this up a bit. I'm just going to put this, say, maybe to eighth notes. So now it sounds something like this. Okay, uh, now let's, uh, let's load different curves into this bottom set. So I'm going to click on load curve, and let's just say we'll grab this triplet here. I'll just load those in across the board and turn off my load curve uh, function. And I'll just knock out those same exact notes that, or those same exact steps rather that we knocked out of our first sequence. All right, so now that I have that done, uh, we have two sequences. The first one and our second one, which sounds like this. Okay, now to set up a switch between those, all we have to do is go to another LFO and instead of leaving it in its default uh, sine wave um, selection, we're going to switch this to a square wave. And I'm actually going to set this this way instead. So it starts with the down and it goes up. So I'm going to go back to my performer and I'm going to assign that LFO as a modulation controller. Okay, so now we just need to set up a rate at which our LFO, our square wave, is operating at. So I'm just going to set this at a ratio of 4 to 1, which should allow us to play through this whole top sequence, and then it should switch to this bottom sequence. All right, so obviously the potential of this is huge. If you were creating something like drum rhythms or something like that, you can have a 32-step um, groove instead of a 16-step groove. But you can extend this beyond just one performer. In fact, you can have multiple performers all being switched uh, by an LFO. Um, and then it's just a matter of setting your modulation assignments uh, to control the parameters that you want to control with these sequences. So that's it. Uh, I hope that you found this uh, pretty enlightening. Um, I think it's a, it's a pretty powerful maneuver that extends the capabilities of Massive by a lot. Um, hope you get to use it in your very next project and see what it can do for you. Thanks again for tuning in, folks. Always really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to shoot us a uh, message if you have requests for future tutorials and leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at puremind.com.